Women have made great strides in the business world, no doubt, but it can still be a struggle, especially for women trying to start their own businesses. Women have a harder time getting financing, being taken seriously. They tend to give up vacation and personal time. They're trying to prove themselves. Martine Saint-Vector is an entrepreneur. She's also the founder of the PR agency Milagro Atelier. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you for having me. I want to ask you about when you started your, your company. Did you face all those obstacles, trying to get you know, people to take you seriously, trying to get the financing? Uh, I think I have, because it was 15 years ago, so I, there was a side of me that was very naive. I, had, I was fearless. In sometimes that helps. Yeah, right? sometimes that helps. Um, but when you keep your eye on the prize, you're not distracted by the naysayers. And what you realize is that the, pe the naysayers are usually people that have failed themselves or never went through with their ideas. So you have to be able to block that out. And what's great with Quebec is that you do have some guiding, some guidance. Um, the SAGE, for example, or uh, Emploi Quebec has programs that can hold your hand through the process, especially for financing, for example, which, which can be quite complex. So they do have grants and they do have people to help you out and you have to seek that. Obviously, women can be just as successful as men in, in any field. Yes. But there are certain, I think, um, characteristics that sometimes women f fall victim to. You know, this idea of, of trying to please people, of not wanting to fail, not wanting to s disappoint people. That's really something that, that a lot of women have to deal with. I think so. I, I think, you know, entrepreneurs in general, but you're right, women specifically, and what you have to realize, and I say that all the time, you can't make everybody happy. You're not tequila. Right, so you have to be able to. You have, <laughs> to, be, have to remember yeah. that. So you have to be able to stick to your guns, and also you have to realize that you have to go after what you love and what you're passionate about, and that's how you'll be good at it. This is why you're so good at what you do. That this is why you're the best because you're passionate about media and you love I it. I love this woman. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's true. So you have yeah. to be able to, and it's tough. It's really difficult sometimes because you have to put in the blood, the sweat, the tears. And sometimes you have hurdles and you have to remember why you got into it. Sometimes. Because I hear a lot of women say, you know, we had to work twice as hard. Always. To get, for sure. to get there. And for sure. so that is a truth. Then. That is a universal truth. Uh, and that's true of um, children of immigrants as well. Mm -hmm. uh, women, definitely, you have to be twice as good, which is not a bad, it's unfair, but it's not a bad thing. It just makes you twice as good as other people. There's nothing wrong with that. Over the years, what have you learned that you wish you had known way back then? What kind of lessons would you share with people now? You have to pick your battles. Mm. Not everything is worth fighting for. Uh, and you can't rip your shirt for everything or everybody. You really have to pick your battles because it's time consuming. Uh, it's energy sucking. So you have to be really to say, okay, this is worth fighting for. And this isn't. Let it go. Move on. Don't waste time on the little things. Because it's a matter also of making the right decisions too. You know, right. we were talking just before the break. It's it's you can't blame every failure on oh it's because I'm a woman. Absolutely. No, you also you have to be evaluate yourself realistically as well. Absolutely. Right? You have to be you have to be ready to make sacrifices. You have to be able to realize that you cannot do everything at once. Um, you know, one of the expression I detest is, you know, having it all. It means absolutely nothing. What does having it all mean? You have to find what's right for you and the people around you. If they love you, they will adjust to your choices. You know, uh, very quickly, because we're out of yeah. time. I want to talk to you about these Alcov mini yes. conferences. You're yes. going to be giving one yes, and March offering 27th. some advice uh, for, yes. for people as well, yes. which is a really nice vehicle, right? Smaller groups that, right. that people and people can log on to this after it's done. You can go to alcovemoments.com. It's right. on your screen. Also, you can follow Martin on Twitter. Yes. It is at Martin <laughs> Montreal. And, and I think it's, and it's free then, right? Yes. Once, they can, once it's online and they can Yes, hear. because uh, so yeah. Alc Alcove is uh, nomad conferences. They're small, like you said, 30 people, and then they're turned into podcasts. So people can listen to them and- And learn the lessons. And learn. Well, for the few that I have to teach, yes. <laughs> sharing the experience. You have a lot to teach. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you, Matsumi. We'll be right back.